Hey guys, on this one right here, the customer called and said that the condenser fan motor is making some strange noises. I was going to go just pick up a new motor and come over here, but I figured I'd stop and look at it first and see if we can determine if it's the motor or something else. Here we go. Let's don't kill the power just yet. Is that why he's talking about that? That little bump at the end? Uh -huh. Let's kill the power real quick. There's a couple, there's a couple little things I want to look at here and I'll show you in just a second. Wait just a little bit. I do see some oil coming out of those bearings. I'm checking that hub. That hub seems to be solid. No movement there. That's a it is definitely leaking some oil if that hub is not moving when it stops like that it's normally the motor it makes that hard stop Let's um while we got power off check capacitors. Mm -hmm. 
That one's supposed to be a five. Oh, that was just barely on there. Let's check the other one too. Both of those felt really loose. Y'all see that? That's supposed to be a five. That time I got it. And this is 36. All right, let's see what that's supposed to be. I'm going to see if I can see it. Oh, uh, 40 and 5. Come on. Don't give me a plus or minus, but, um, Let's see, um, 45, excuse me, that's 40, 40 times, Forty times point 38, and I said that was 36, so we need a new 40 and 5. Contact her ain't terrible, but I'm because of the oil that's leaking out of this and that noise. Let's all uh, let's hook things back up and Let's do an amp draw on it. Compressor. Come on, outdoor fan bowls, 1.3 amps. Rated at 1.3. It seems like I heard it starting to have a little trouble there. One amp. 
That ain't bad. Tell you what, the oil coming out of those bearings bothers me a little bit. Hmm. I think I need to let it run for a little while in order to hear what he was talking about. I hope you wasn't hearing it go through defaults. <laughs> Alright, where are my jumpers? There's one. There's a blower running. I think it is. I need another jumper. All right, blower's on. Okay, this has been running for like 10 minutes in heat. I'm probably cooking them out in there. Let's see if we hear another noise from the motor. Slightly, yeah. I'm gonna tell him I didn't see a reason to replace it other than that oil mark and discuss that with him 
and see if he wants me to just preemptively replace his motor if he's hearing something that I'm not he may just tell me to go ahead and replace it all right so there was a little bit more to the story that oil you, we saw on the bearings there the customer sprayed it with some oil the other day because it was squeaking on him and screeching and he does want me to go ahead and replace this motor in that capacitor he has another system on this house he has three systems on this house and one of them is for like a um, mother-in-law suite over the garage it's really like a workout room that needs to be replaced and he's not replacing it right now so we'll try to keep his cost down We are back. I'm going to take this motor and I guess I can change it up here. I was going to change it on the back of my truck. For some reason this thing won't stay in. Well, John, that is better than sandpaper, written on it?
my spray. It's not on the round part. driving my truck the gas mileage is much better there's, there's only like small things that I realize I miss every once in a while but it's you know stuff like trader caps or my jumpers or something just something I need to go get out of the van and put on the truck table does make it easier to do this.
didn't measure, but this is a exact replica on the motor. Y'all see where my set screw was? About the same height. Alright, let's get that in our capacitor. Is there any more trash that needs to go in there? Y'all forgive me. When I was putting that together, I had a phone call. <sighs> Customer trying to haggle me down on my prices. I just stick to my guns and he pays my prices. My prices aren't that terribly high to begin with. All right, we got some new capacitor to put on. looking like we might get some rain sometime soon Another phone call. Business is, whoa, business is picking up. My first call today was out in Tifton, which is a nice little drive away. It takes me an hour to get to that customer's house. This is the Herm on my compressor. One sec, I got my shirt caught up. All right. Everything looks to be in order. good thing about these reams the um, OEM parts aren't that terribly expensive
Oops. Let me see. I've got that coming through a, a round opening that's got the rounded edges on it. It'll be okay. And last thing, check amp draw. Two five. All right, guys, my battery died on that one, but that turned out just fine. Hopefully, that system will run for another 11 years. <laughs> Thanks for watching, and I'll catch y'all on the next one.